Hello everyone, Christina here. Welcome to my ninth card video using supplies in my capsule paper crafting challenge box for the month. And this time I'm breaking out that huggable stamp set from Reverse Confetti for another card with some cute critters on it. Also using two stencils, the Reverse Heart stencil from Simus Stamp and also the Stained Glass stencil from Honey Bee. First going to start out with some black cardstock from Hero Arts and I'm using that reverse heart stencil in a little bit of a new way. I'm going to be uh, kind of masking off just this one row and so I'm going to be putting some Versamark ink on top and I don't want it to go beyond that row so I'm going to go ahead and use some of my masking paper. I trimmed this down last week for one of the other projects and so I had this strip left over and I thought you know I'll go ahead and use it. So I've masked off that area so I'm only going to be adding ink to that one section adding some Versamark ink because I am going to be making these hearts white with some white embossing powder. So I'm squishing my Versamark ink pad down onto that stencil, making sure I get all those little crevices on the hearts. And then I can remove the stencil and I'm going to apply the embossing powder before I remove the masking tape. That's because this masking tape, even though it does peel off cleanly, it does leave behind a little bit of residue that can attract embossing powder, which it did, but it was very minimal and I was able to clean it up with just a dry paintbrush. So I tapped off the excess and then I used one of my clean dry paintbrushes to kind of sweep away any of that extra embossing powder. I hit that with my heat tool to melt all the embossing powder. And I don't know if you can hear Sophie back here meowing. Hey, Soph. Now she's being shy. She's going to not meow as much. Anyway, so I'm moving on to some other stenciling, some ink blending, using uh, the stained glass stencil from Honey Bee. And like I showed you guys last week, in order to remove some of the tackiness on the back of this blue painter's tape, I just put that on the palm of my hand, or the back of my hand actually, and then, um, then it takes away some of that tackiness and it won't tear your paper. I'm using the Sandy Beach Ink Cube from Gina K Designs and a blender brush from Honey Bee. And I'm just blending up this nice neutral color coming in sort of from the bottom of my cardstock here. This is Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock, by the way. And it is cut to an A2 size, um, so it's four and a quarter by five and a half. After I had all that stencil blending on there, I removed the stencil and I have this really nice design that's mostly concentrated in the bottom left corner. Then went back to my white hearts on a black cardstock piece and I just trimmed that to a narrow strip. And I also took my scissors and trimmed it so there was a little bit of a diagonal edge just right there on the end. So I'm going to set that aside for a little bit while I work on the two little critters on my card. Decided I would do the two little foxes and um, I'm going to stamp those in Versamark, I'm sorry, Versafine onyx black ink onto some Fabriano Artistico extra white watercolor paper. And I actually stamped that a couple times to get a nice stark line. And then I started painting these cute little critters using my watercolor set from American Crafts and Paper Fashion. And I wanted to show you how I mix the nice orange shade for the fox. I'm using this kind of pink shade and I, and I knew I would be painting both foxes, so I needed quite a bit of this orange color. So I put down quite a bit of this pink as the starter for this mixed shade. And then I added in this golden yellow shade. And these two colors together make a beautiful orange. And I just actually watered that down just a tiny bit more. And that gave me the perfect orange color for these little critters. So I actually did look up online. Um, I looked up fox clip art so it would remind me how to color these. And then I just used what I saw online as a guide for the different ways to color these two cute little animals. So I'm going to let uh, this video kind of go, turn on some music so you can enjoy. But I did want to mention that I did the watercoloring and then I came in with some colored pencils just to add a little bit of shading in what Kathy Rakusen calls the nooks and crannies. And I also trimmed it out with some scissors.
So here are my two cute little animals ready for my card front. And now I'm going to just start assembling my card, starting with the card base itself. So I've got some cardstock here that I've scored at five and a half to create a top folding card. And then I trimmed down my ink blended piece so that it would be a little bit smaller than the card front. So it's actually four inches by five and one quarter. I put it on some foam tape and then adhered that directly to my card. I mentioned it was a top folding card, but I'm actually going to make it a landscape card today. So it's a side fold landscape card. Put some foam adhesive behind my black strip and adhered that. And then I put two layers of adhesive on the back of the critters. That's because the feet are going to kind of overlap that black strip. And since the black strip has one layer of foam adhesive, I needed the animals to have two so that it kind of stands up up above that black strip of cardstock. For the greeting, I'm going to use the Mom Elephant Occasional Label Stamp Set. I have this little itty bitty strip of white cardstock. I'm using up all my little bits of paper this month. And I'm stamping the greeting that says Big Hugs in Versifying Onyx Black Ink. And like you've seen me do a few times this month, I just trimmed down that label so that it had a little bit of a white border around the outer edge. I put some foam adhesive on the back and then put that directly down onto my card front. So that finishes the card for today. Just a cute little animal card. I really enjoyed how this one turned out. And I can't believe that this was the, my ninth card. Um, these last few cards at the end here, I kind of struggled with some fun ideas, but I'm so glad I persevered and kept going because I really love how this turned out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. This will be my 10th card very soon. 